Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I hope you guys are doing well. So I was going through the comment section and then I see this uh, question that was asked by three to four people. So basically they were asking in which scenario do we use a store procedure and in which scenario do we use function and how we can determine it. Okay. Before we proceed guys, if you want to know the practical explanation of uh, both the store procedure and function as well as the difference between them, then you can refer these two sorts. I have explained it uh, very clearly. Okay. So let's say in your project there is a requirement uh, to write a query which will touch more than three to four tables okay and uh, the sql statements are a bit complex so in those cases uh, we prefer to use the store procedure again when it comes to data manipulation we'll be using the store procedure because uh, you can manipulate the data here what does it mean is you can insert update delete or select you can do whatever you want with the help of a store procedure because that is not possible with the function okay so guys, let's say you have a table and that table has five flags of record okay now you want to delete that table and you want to use one of the column of that table to produce the record in some other table okay so you will not be doing it at once okay so for that you have to do the batching so you might choose to update the other table in batches of let's say 2000 5000 records okay so in that case also you will be writing a, a store procedure okay so the fourth point i would like to mention is whenever you want to create or make the uh, security more robust let's say you do not want users to directly access the table okay so you will be providing them some roles and uh, when you write the store procedure okay you will be granting the access to only those roles okay okay so what does that mean so if a particular user is having access okay and that access is required to run the store procedure or execute the store procedure okay then only that user will be able to execute that store procedure let's say ram does not have that access that particular role okay and that role is required to execute that store procedure so in that case ram will not be able to execute it so this will provide you some extra layer of security uh, the last point I would like to mention is uh, error handling. So with the store procedure, you can also implement the error handling like try catch. So before we proceed to the function, let me tell you function can only perform the select operation. It will not perform delete, update or insert. Okay. So you will be using function wherever uh, a simple calculation is uh, there and it is producing some results. So in that case, you can use the function. The second use case is the data transformation. So you should use the SQL function wherever data formation is required within the query such as formatting or deriving the values okay the third huge case is uh, deterministic logics what does that mean so if you have some sql queries which is going to produce the same result uh, with the same input every time okay so in that case you will be using the sql function so that's pretty much from today's session guys uh, we'll meet up in the next video till then bye bye take care